Good morning, everyone. All right, so I'm here with another weekly sex and the update. Um, this is probably gonna be a very short one because quite honestly, not a lot has changed. <laughs> All right, so for anyone who's new here, I've been on Sexenda for 10 weeks now, I think it is. Um, I have been at the three milligram maintenance dosage for a while now, and that's pretty pretty much it. Started Sexenda for help with uh, insulin, weight, things like that, and it's been very helpful. Uh, but admittedly, things have really slowed down as far as weight loss goes. Um, I haven't really changed too, too much as far as like what I'm eating. I'm still eating my smaller portions. Um, I did have an extra like couple things that I normally wouldn't eat because my family is currently here this week. Um, and so we've gone out to eat a couple times, but I'm still like well within my, my normal portion sizes and things like that, that I've been trying to eat. Um, but yeah, nothing, nothing super drastic has changed as far as my eating habits. Um, so nothing has changed as far as uh, side effects or anything like that. Sorry, I'm so tired still. <laughs> I have a coffee this morning and it's still not quite kicked in yet um but yeah no extra side effects which is what i assumed would be the case because we've just been on the same dosage now for a while um as far as my weight loss goes i am sitting exactly where i was last week so i had been in, i've been at a few stalls now um but last week i had finally reported that i lost a little over a pound again um and that's still where I am now. So I haven't lost anything from last week. I am still 19.4 pounds down now in just over two months time on this medication. Um, hold on. My, fian my fiance sent me a puke emoji. I, can't, I have to see what this is. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> we both picked up our coffees this morning as we usually do on the way here and He's not a huge fan of his this morning. So he sent me the puke emoji followed by a coffee emoji. <laughs> so that's how that's going for him. Um, anyways though, so yeah, I, okay, I'm down. Yeah, about 19 and a half pounds in a little over two months, which is still great on sex end up, but it's slowing down enough that I really am thinking now about having my doctor Oh my gosh, my doctor switched me over to the Wagovi or whatever else he wants to try um, later this month when I have my appointment with him, which is on the 20th. Yeah, the 20th. So we'll see. I'm still, still got some time though, and I'm still gonna keep pushing and not changing anything in the meantime, um, because it has worked. It's still reducing my cravings a bit and it's still reducing the amount of food I can eat which is wonderful um, and so yeah it's been, it's been doing what it, it's supposed to do it's just slowed down which is from what I'm hearing very typical for a lot of people so I'm trying to think I don't think I have really any other updates at all today later in the day I'm going out to uh, Disney for a bit. I'm gonna hang out with my parents and my fiance. And so that should be fun. Although I am so exhausted still. Um, I think I mentioned in one of my other videos that I've been working longer shifts lately and I'm just very, very worn out. I also just got over um, not really being sick. I was extremely severely dehydrated a few days ago. Um, and I woke up in the morning literally feeling like I had been drinking alcohol, like a lot of alcohol, <laughs> like the room was kind of spinning in slow motion. I couldn't walk right. I was very disoriented. Um, and like everything, my, my brain was like in a haze, like a fog and I just did not feel right and my whole body felt really heavy my arms felt like they weighed a ton 
I couldn't get up from bed easily. I just wanted to sleep and sleep, and I did. I, I napped and napped and napped. Um, I was home from work for a couple days, actually, because of how bad it was. I literally didn't trust myself to drive or anything. I don't know what was going on. Um, well, at the time, I didn't. Now I have an idea. Um, but uh, I ended up picking up a bunch of Pedialyte and started drinking that down because it's the only thing I could think of. I, I tested myself for like COVID and all that stuff because it was very similar actually to when I had COVID. I had very similar symptoms, uh, just minus all the respiratory crap and uh, negative, everything was negative. And so, yeah, I got the Pedialyte and I started drinking that down. And within a few hours of starting up the Pedialyte, it was like a complete 360. Um, I kept that going for the first day and the second day that I was home and since then, aside from my normal allergies that I have right now, um, I've been feeling much better. So I think I let myself get way too dehydrated. The heat really has just jumped up here uh, in Florida and I sweat a lot because I work a lot outside. So I'm out there for you know, eight to 11, 12 hours a day lately. And when you're standing all day in that Florida sun, you sweat and I am still struggling to drink enough. Uh, when I'm home, I'm a little bit better about it because I use my circle water bottle with the flavored water and it kind of helps me, but you know, we have special water bottles and everything at work. And quite honestly, I struggle to keep drinking just the plain water and I don't know. It sucks. It sucks. I used to use uh, like drops, like the Mio Sport and some of the other flavor drops in my water bottle at work. But I found they stained the bottles and there's like a lot of like weird residue and mold that I was getting in my bottles from it. And I don't know, it just wasn't, it wasn't worth it. I mean, now it might be now that I know how I felt just a few days ago. Um, but I might have to do something like that again because that was awful. That was really, really bad. I definitely need to get better at drinking. So stay hydrated, people. So that's really it. That's my update. I still have a couple of videos to edit and upload um, on this channel. I think I spoke about them in a couple of my past videos too. So hopefully I'll have those up soon. I don't think I'll be filming when I go to the theme parks at all. I'm just gonna be focusing on just enjoying some time out in the parks because I honestly don't go as much as you would think somebody who works at Disney would go to the parks, but yeah. So anyways, that's pretty much it. I hope everyone is doing well and staying healthy and happy and I will see you all again very soon <laughs> if not if not my other videos i still have to put up then hopefully next week's update but we'll see hopefully next week i'll have lost a little bit more i'm, I'm staying positive and uh yeah and don't forget to like and subscribe please on this channel most of my views are coming from unsubscribed viewers and so if you're coming back to watch my videos again and again just just subscribe it's free it's free and you won't miss any videos the moment they come out you'll know about it hopefully if you don't let me know because i know the algorithm's been a little weird and people have not been getting notifications of videos when i put them out so anyways that's all have a good one everyone bye